What's up everybody and welcome back. So let's start coding our player. So as you can see right here, I have dragged my player from my resources folder into the hierarchy and I have created a new script in my scripts folder with the name called my player. So make sure that you should not name the script player because photon already has a script with the same name called player so if you name it player this is going to give you a bunch of errors so that being said let's apply this script on to our player so right here you can see i have the script my player now let's open it up in visual studio so right here you can see i have some code so just ignore this line right now and let's see what we are doing right here so i'm going to explain each and everything in detail with the help of diagrams so this is going to be very easy so the first thing we need to do is we are going to get the input from our keyboard and then later on we are going to convert we are going to change this and we are going to get the input from our joystick but for now we are going to do it using keyboard so i simply have a vector 2 for input we only need input in the x and y direction so a new vector 2 and we are getting the input dot get axis raw so there is a difference between get axis and get axis raw so the get axis raw is only going to return you three values which is negative 1 0 and 1 there is no in between 0 0.1 0 0.2 there is, the get axis raw is not going to return any value other than these three values so on the horizontal so if i am if i press the right arrow key this function is going to return a positive one so if i don't press any key this is going to return me zero so if i press the left arrow key this is going to return negative one so same thing with our get axis raw vertical so if you press the up arrow key it is going to return positive one and if you press down arrow key it is going to return negative 1 and if you don't press anything it is going to return you a 0 so right here so if you press the up arrow key this is going to return you a positive 1 down negative 1 right positive 1 and left negative 1 So let's get back <clears throat> now after that what we are doing is we are going to change the input direction and we are going to normalize it so what the normalized is going to do is so before proceeding with the video I want to introduce you about my multiplayer course as you know that this series is a part of my multiplayer course uh, that is on Udemy so I will put the link of the project overview in my in the description you can check that out no matter what value you put in the x or y the normalized is going to return a vector with the magnitude of one so what I mean by that is I am going to explain that with a simple example so right here I have created a vector 2 called t1 and it has two values 1 and 1 and then we are going to print it by normalizing it <coughs> same if we put negative 1 and 1 we are going to normalize it if we put 0 and 1 and finally we are adding 10 and 5 and we are going to normalize it so actually we normalized the vector to find the 
direction so let's play this and I am going to explain what I mean by that so if I see in my console right here so when you put 1 and 1 it is going to return 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 7 so it is going to keep these values between negative 1 and 1 and not going to exceed the limit of 1 so in here if we put minus 1 and 1 this is going to return minus 0 0.7 and let's see what we get in case of 10 and 5 so if we put 10 and 5 it is going to return 0 0.9 and 0 0.5 so these values should not exceed one now what is the difference between 10 and 5 which is 5 and what is the difference between 0 0.9 and 0 0.4 which is also 5 so that's what normalized is going to do now by using that vector 2 we can then find the rotation of our player so let's go back to our diagram so let's imagine if we are pressing the uh, right arrow key and we are also holding the up arrow key so if that is the case we need to rotate our player in the 45 degree angle so let's do that so because if we are only pressing the up arrow key we are going to rotate our player at forward direction if we are only pressing this arrow key we are going to rotate it 90 degree and same thing for all of the keys but what if we are holding the up and right at the same time so we want our player to face at the 45 degree angle so to find that angle by using these two inputs so if we are getting one from here and one from here we are going to rotate our player to the 45 and how do we know that we are going to make use of the function called a10 so unity has a function called mathf.810 and in here we can add the direction of x and y and this is going to return the angle so if we put 1 and 1 so it is going to divide this by that so 1 divided by 1 is going to be 1 and this is going to return us 45 so we know that if the user is holding the up and right arrow key we are going to rotate our player in the 45 degree angle and since we only want the rotation on the y axis so if you see on our player we are only going to rotate it on the y axis so let's change back it to zero now let's see how we do that so just keep in mind that user is pressing the up and left right arrow key so let's say we have our x and we have our y so one and one so x is going to be one and y is going to be one and this line right here this is our input direction so let's see like here so this is our angle so how do we find that angle we are going to use the a10 function so we are going to put both of these input values and this is going to return us 45 which is this angle theta 
now i have online calculator of arc 10 which is the same as a 10 2 so let's say if we put 1 and calculate you can see we are getting the angle 45 what if we add minus 1 we are going to get negative so let's say minus 1 divided by 1 we are going to get negative 1 so if we are pressing the negative 1 and positive 1 so in the a 10 function we will have negative 1 divided by 1 so we know that if the user is holding down left arrow key and up arrow key then we are going to rotate at negative 45 so i hope you understand this and this a 10 2 is going to return the angle in radians but we want that angle in the degrees so if you see in our calculator so if let's say put one here we are going to get the angle in radians but we want to convert it to angle in degrees so what we can do is we can multiply the result of that by a constant that we get in math f class math f dot radian to degree which is the 57.29587 so let's multiply that now we will get our angle in degrees and we are going to apply that angle at only y axis so vector 3 dot up is same as in the intelligence you can say that you can see that shorthand for writing vector 3 0 1 and 0 so up means y axis so it is going to put 1 on the y axis and 0 0 on y x and z axis and one more thing so normally in that case we would use the function a 10 y divided by x because if we assume that this is 0 and this is 90 and this is 180 and this is 270 but in case of unity there is a difference if our character is facing towards the forward direction the angle we will get is zero so in the right direction we will get 90 and in here we are going to get to 70 which is opposite to normal scenario so instead of y divided by x we will use x divided by y let's save this script and go back to unity and make sure to apply the script on here and let's play the game so now i am going to press the right arrow key you can see we are facing towards right direction so if i leave it it is going to snap back to zero now if i press the left arrow key this is going to go here and if i press down arrow key this is going to rotate our player now what if i press both the right arrow key and up arrow key we are going to get 45 degree angle so which we can confirm from here so if we press this arrow key we will get one and this arrow key we will get one so in the arc of tangent so we will put one divided by one which is going to be equal to one so what angle do we get 
if we calculate we will get 45 so that's what our player is doing so adding both we are going to get the 45 degree angle now you can see our player is rotating and moving slightly so we can fix that so in the rigid body in the constraints we are going to freeze the rotation on all of the axis so let's play the game again so now we can rotate our player so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video